Hi, my name is Bill Shira. I'm doing this video to help authenticate and guarantee the artifacts that I sell on eBay. I've been um, um, collecting artifacts and uh, I, I did it with my dad when I was a kid. And it's just something that I've been fascinated with. And then as I've studied archaeology, I'm a graduate of Brigham Young University. Even though that's not my major, um, I, uh, I was able to, to attend conventions and different things. And so I was able to learn a lot. And so I owe a lot to the field of archaeology and even geology. And even though I don't consider myself an expert, and I'm not trying to say that, but one thing I can say, and I can back it up, because I found them myself, these are authentic. There's many methods that I've learned and, and uh, to identify the difference between rocks and, um, and artifacts is by, the, by the, the nature of rocks, which is in geology, and then how they were, how they were um, worked on by the ancient inhabitants. Which, which differentiates them from being, you know, from being a rock to an artifact. The ancient inhabitants used the shapes of rocks and worked on them to make them uh, to make them a tool. But they they would look for rocks that already had a, had a shape to them, and then they would just modify them a little bit. It's in that modification that you can, you know, that you have to understand. Pecking and grinding is one of them. Napping, um, sharpening, grinding is, uh, you know, pecking and grinding. All of that, uh, bulb percussion, any of that stuff that you can see that isn't natural. And although I'm not an expert in it and I don't claim to be, I certainly am an avid studier of it. And, um, and I'm fascinated with the way they made the tools. Obviously, because I have Native American blood in me, I'm fascinated with it. Um, but, but not only that, um, it's just interesting. It's just such a good feeling to pick up something you know that somebody's made, you, you know, thousands of years ago. Uh, there's quite a thrill in doing that. As I furthered my understanding of how they make their tools, what they use them for, which, which came through the study of archaeology and the different finds that, that the, you know, the experts have found. Through that, and uh, the methods that, uh, that you learn that they use, like pecking and grinding, for example, you start to understand and see the marks of pecking and grinding. It helps to know that it's a campsite, which is it's, it's, it's pretty fascinating and thrilling to pick up um, artifacts that uh, you know that have been used by somebody you know thousands of years ago and uh, and so I, I really get an enjoyment out of it. I guarantee my stuff and I can guarantee them the best guarantee um, I guess you could get and that is that I don't buy them from anybody I, I, I collect them myself so I give my personal guarantee that I found these and um, and um, and that they're authentic, and I back that up. In fact, it's easy to back up because you can take them. I give 30 days and even more if they request it, giving you time or anybody time to have them check themselves. It doesn't. Uh, I, I can't have all of these checked. It would. It would. Um, it, it, it just is too much to do that. But this is a form of authentication. Um, anybody's welcome to come where I live. I'm giving my name and everything, so they want to come and check it out. They can. Um, I have no problem with that. I I just want everybody to enjoy the these um, as much as I do. Um, I have so many of them, and I I can't. Uh, you know, there's some I'll never sell, but. Uh, for the most part, I enjoy letting other people enjoy the culture.